Good morning. Jesus' words in the Sermon on the Mount give a stark contrast. One of the things that Jesus does is he is always conscious of being a fork in the road, right? A fork in the road. Um, like that statement by Jim Elliott, that make me a fork in the road that people will have to choose upon coming and, and facing me, whether they're going to choose to follow Christ or they're going to walk away. It's an important concept and a way for us to live, but it's also important for us to recognize that Jesus makes no bones about it. You, you either are going to go one way or the other. And so we pick up in verse 13 in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 7, verse 13 and 14, enter by the narrow gate for the gate is wide and the way is easy that leads to destruction and those who enter by it are many for the gate is narrow and the way is hard that leads to life and those who find it are few i want to think about the the wide way for a moment right you got a a, a way or a gate that is wide or you have a, a gate here that is narrow um this morning, I just want you to think about one idea and guard against it. You don't have to try to be worldly. The way of the world is wide. The gate into the world is wide. It's roomy. It's comfortable. It's broad in that way. You can, you can drive like Kramer and Seinfeld in the wide lane if you want to, right? It's easy to do. And that's why we're warned about it. We're warned against worldliness. We're warned to not be like uh, a soldier that gets involved in civilian affairs. We're warned to not be an athlete that doesn't pay attention to the rules. We're warned not to be a uh, uh, by, by, by the exhortation to be a hardworking farmer, we're warned not to be a lazy farmer. We're told in Proverbs, guard your heart for it's the wellspring of life. It, the issues of life flow out of it. So when you face Christ, you're either going to choose the narrow gate, which is to pursue him with your life and have the kind of life that fits with the kingdom or a life in the world, which would be a life away from Christ. You won't have to work at that. That's not a hard decision for you to make. It's easy, roomy, comfortable, spacious, and you'll have lots of company. So what that means is you have to be really conscious of how insidious, how stealth-like the world is, right? So for this morning's thought for the day, be aware of the world and its creep into your life because you can kind of angle towards the narrow gate, but the world has a way of creeping in. Be guarded. Have a good day.